Chew Goo Rescues a Dog Chewed Loafer. William Hovey Smith, 2017. I'm the owner of a new company, Hovey's Knives of China, and I have a certain hound dog by the name of Hera, and she and Shu Goo have become associated. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And today we're going to talk about the activities of a certain predatory hound dog. And this is a perpetrator showing sharp teeth and a very capable tongue. Who's given modus operandi is to take a shoe like this and reduce it to a shoe like this. The most recent activities consist of Harris going over to my sister's house and absconding with bedroom shoe and leaving it in a severely damaged condition. But, however, thanks to a frantic phone call from her, we managed to recover one shoe, this loafer, with comparatively little damage, although this was done in less than five minutes. So we are going to use our customary shoe goo in an attempt to make a repair. Now shoe goo is an interesting adhesive. It is waterproof. It is also elastic, and I very commonly use it in my business in making Billy Joe Rubido style knives from found steels. And I use it in particularly to glue the scales on some very interesting patterns of utilitarian and cooking knives that I make. Once I make a Billy Joe Rubido knife, I will very commonly put it into production as a Hobie's Knives of China knives, such as this blank, which is a rib chopper, which also has uses as an agricultural tool. If you need to reach up and shake a branch to get pecans or pears or something out of a tree, you mount this on a pole and do it. You'll also have a chopping blade and this is also a cutting blade here. Now, I'm going to bring the camera up so you can actually see the repair. Hound Dog Hera pulled the insole out. It's partially torn. You can see some of the padding remains on the bottom here and some of it still remains in the bottom of the shoe itself. So the first thing we're going to do is try to smear a good bond of glue on both sides, on this side, this side, and on the bottom here. Replace it in the bottom of the shoe and press it down firmly with the fingers. The trick is here is to use a spatula and smear the glue out evenly so you do not have lumps except when you might need them to fill a hole. Now this is not a super glue, meaning it is not a terribly rapid setting glue, which is good. Uh, it takes, oh, depending on the media, two to four hours for this glue to set well. So that means you have some working time, which is very desirable to do exactly what I'm doing right now. Now super glue would have already started to set. 
So it would have been too stiff to actually work right now. But now I can even it up a little bit. Take some from where I have too much. Put down where I have too little. Now it does have volatiles. So you will want to use this in an area where you have good ventilation. All right. So now we have it ready to lay in. Very carefully put it inside the shoe, pushing it as far in as you can get it. Indexing it back into the heel. And now working from the heel forward, pushing it further and further down into the shoe. Sort of working it down as you go. The trick is getting it all the way down to the point. Let's see. I may need a tool here. Yeah. I'm using this blunt tool to help push. This is actually a farrier's pick or a horseman's tool. It's used to it's used to pick out stones from under horses' hooves. So now we're taking the fingers to push all the way down in the toe, very toe of the shoe. working it to make it smooth as we possibly can right here. Very tip on it to fold over a little bit. Now that takes care of as good as we can do with the bottom. There are a few little wrinkles in it, but remember this is foam, so this will give to the bottom of the foot and feel good. Now the very back here is a little more problematic. The chewing has made a very, very irregular surface here. Now lots of little tears and threads and separations within about four layers of material. The back of the shoe here is more difficult. There are about four different layers of material and stitching, etc., etc., which we cannot do anything to replace. So I put a gob of goo on all of these surfaces and then bending over and attaching the shoe back into its approximate original condition. I'm using my spreader here and try to even up things a little bit and catch all these little fibers with adhesive. Look on the inside of the shoe, this is giving in a very irregular surface which would irritate the back of the foot. So we're going to smooth that out by applying some electrical tape.
particularly on the inside. I'm going to reinforce it with another layer applied here around the back and lapping over. final piece to cover the outside. Well, in about five minutes, we have our shoe goo repair completed. Perhaps this isn't the most elegant repair you ever saw, but considering what we started with, a very much dog chewed shoe back here, and the possible results, at least we have the shoe repaired now in a wearable condition. But now, this is Hovey Smith. Reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe. Goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Here is my sister's loafer after I managed to salvage it. And you can see on the back the still remaining tooth marks on the leather. I'm afraid there's not too much I can do about that. Now, I mainly use shoe goo for gluing knife scales. And here, I'm about to put these scales on a knife. And here is a look at some of our knives under the Hobie's Knives of China brand, which are inspired from ancient Chinese knives from 2,000 years ago. And here's a view of even more of them and mo even more patterns yet to come. Shu Gu's parent company, Eclectic Products, makes adhesive sealants, coatings, and fillers under seven brand names for craftspeople and industry. For more information, you can go to www.eclecticproducts.com. For more information on the Hovey's Knives of China and Billy Joe Rubido brands, you can go to the blog below. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 600 videos, you can go to www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.